If you've ever watched a chameleon shift colors in seconds, it feels like magic. Green to yellow, calm to electric. At first glance, it seems simple, like the animal is just matching whatever it's sitting on. Leaf, branch, bark, easy explanation. But that idea starts to fall apart the longer you look. Why change color when no one's watching? Why turn brighter instead of blending in? And how does an animal even do something like that in the first place? To understand what's really happening, we have to look beyond the surface, literally, and into one of the most surprising systems in the animal kingdom. We'll talk about that right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start by clearing up the biggest misconception. Chameleons don't primarily change color to match their surroundings. While they can blend in when needed, camouflage is not the main purpose of their color-changing ability. In fact, most chameleons spend the majority of their time in muted greens and browns because that's what naturally fits their environment. The dramatic color changes the bright yellows, deep reds, and striking blues are not about hiding at all. They're about being seen. Color is how chameleons communicate with one another. It's how they show dominance, fear, stress, submission, and even romantic interest. Their skin acts less like camouflage and more like a living signal board. To understand how chameleons change color, we need to look beneath the surface. Chameleon skin is made up of multiple layers, each with a different function. The top layer contains traditional pigments like yellows and reds, which are fairly common in the animal kingdom. But the real secret lies deeper, in a layer of specialized cells called iridophores. These cells don't contain pigment. Instead, they contain incredibly tiny structures known as nanocrystals. These crystals are arranged in a precise, repeating pattern, almost like a microscopic grid, and that grid can change shape. Here's where things get fascinating. The colors we see on a chameleon aren't created by adding or removing pigment. They're created by how light interacts with the nanocrystals in the skin. When light hits these crystals, Certain wavelengths are reflected while others are absorbed. The spacing between the crystals determines which colors bounce back to our eyes. Tightly packed crystals reflect shorter wavelengths like blues and greens. More spread out crystals reflect longer wavelengths like yellows, oranges, and reds. So when a chameleon changes color, it's physically adjusting the spacing between these microscopic crystals. It's not chemistry. It's physics. So how does the chameleon actually control this process? Tiny muscles surround the iridophore cells. When the chameleon is calm, these muscles remain relaxed, keeping the crystal lattice tight. This produces the familiar green tones that help the animal blend into leaves and branches. But when a chameleon becomes excited, stressed, threatened, or aggressive, its nervous system sends rapid signals to those muscles. The muscles contract. The crystal lattice stretches. Light reflects differently. Within seconds, the chameleon's skin shifts color, sometimes dramatically. All of this happens automatically. The chameleon isn't consciously choosing colors. Its body is responding instantly to what's happening around it. Chameleons don't rely on sound to communicate. They don't bark or roar. They speak through color. A dominant male will display bright, bold patterns to intimidate rivals. The more vivid and contrasting the colors, the stronger and healthier the chameleon appears. A weaker or submissive chameleon will dull its colors or darken its body to signal surrender and avoid conflict. When it comes to mating, color becomes even more precise. Females use color changes to communicate whether they are receptive or not. In many species, 
A female that is not interested will display harsh high contrast colors that clearly warn males to stay away. While chameleons don't experience emotions exactly like humans do, their color changes are tightly linked to their internal state. Stress, fear, excitement and aggression all trigger responses in the nervous system. Those signals travel directly to the skin, altering muscle tension around the iridophore cells. A stressed chameleon may turn darker. An excited one may brighten suddenly. A threatened one may flash intense colors. In a way, a chameleon's skin makes its internal condition visible to the outside world. Color change isn't just about communication. It's also about survival. Chameleons are cold-blooded, meaning they rely on external heat to regulate their body temperature. Darker colors absorb more heat, while lighter colors reflect it. In the morning, a chameleon may darken its skin to warm up quickly in the sun. During the hottest part of the day, it may lighten its color to avoid overheating. This ability allows chameleons to fine-tune their body temperature without moving very far saving energy, and reducing risk from predators. Other animals can change color too, octopuses and cuttlefish, but chameleons do it in a unique way. Most color-changing animals move pigments around inside their cells. Chameleons physically restructure how their skin reflects light. That requires specialized skin layers, Precise microscopic muscle control, a highly responsive nervous system. It's a complex system shaped by millions of years of evolution and one that very few animals possess. Chameleons don't change color to vanish into their surroundings. They change color to communicate, to regulate their bodies, to survive social encounters, to respond instantly to their environment. Their skin isn't a disguise, it's a message, constantly updating, constantly honest. So the next time you see a chameleon shifting colors, remember, you're not watching a trick. You're watching evolution, physics, and biology working together in real time. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.